If you have an online business, you need to have a platform that can help you out with your product documentation. Document 360 is all-in-one documentation solution that will help you to create interactive documentation for your online business. They have a bunch of different useful tools to make the creation of your product documentation easy. But not just that, anyone can go and start creating their product documentation with their easy to use built in editor where you can add URLs, images, videos and much more. Today we're taking a look on how to create technical documentation with Document360. Now as you can see right here we have a dashboard on Document360 and here what we can do is we can basically access our entire dashboard. So as you can see, let's click on this. And uh, once we reach this right here, as you can see, we'll basically end up in our dashboard. Now here on the left side, we have uh, documentation, drive, analytics, content tools, and also API documentation. Now, how can we go and get started and basically go and create technical documentation with Document360? Well, what we can do is we can go here on documentation and uh, as you can see right here, what we can do is we can see documentations. So right here we have, why did we build Document360? This is just a pre-made template that we can go and take a look at. But what we can do is we can click new and add article. Now here you can also add articles and import articles from other sources. So if we go import articles, we can import them from Word, Confluence, Google Docs and Dropbox Paper. Now, if you have an article, you can upload your uh, articles from those uh, or basically import them from those, those uh, platforms. Now, let's go and let's just add a new article here and we can name this article. For example, it can be podcasting, um, you know, how to start podcasting. And then, as you can see, we can uh, uh, create a, an article from an existing template we can create a clone of an existing article or we can create a link to an existing article which is a shared copy. Now what we want to do is we, we want to go create a new article. We can obviously go from template and then we can basically go and enter the template. Uh, this is all, obviously if you want to go and if you want to just add uh, you know, a template that's already been pre-made. Now let's go and let's create a new article just so I can show you how to do this from scratch. And as you can see, this is basically called the Markdown Editor. This is an editor where you can go and you can create technical documentation with Document 360. Now, there are a lot of different things we can do right here. So let's just type something in. So how to start podcasting 101. This is going to be a document where we are going to explain how to start podcasting. Thank you for reading. And as you can see right here, what we can do is on the left side, we can see our editing and on the right side, we can see how this page will look like once we publish it. So uh, as you can see right here, we can also do this in order to see the full uh, page on the left, on the right side, which is the final product uh, or the final product of technical documentation that we're doing here or the document. And on the left side, we can actually edit it. So as you can see, we can edit, uh, we can say H2, we can say bold that up. Um, we can say uh, right here, if we want to link this or bold it or maybe have italic, we can do that. Um, we can add a, uh, you know, maybe a list, list one, list two, list three. And we can, you know, highlight those items and we can have unordered list right here. This is how it's going to look like on the right side once we publish it. Uh, what we can also do is we can you know, pretty much add stuff uh, in there as well. So if we drag and drop right here a logo from Document360, this is how the logo is going to look like on the right side. It's a pretty big logo. So what we can do is we can go here and select the height to be 20 pixels maybe. And as you can see, it's going to be 20 pixels and width, it's going to be 20 pixels as well. So that's basically how you can uh, change that. Obviously, if you want to link uh, a part of the document, we can link uh, right here, insert link. And here it can be uh, linked to a current article heading or we can link to a URL that can open a new tab. So here you can put a URL, for example, google.com. We can hit OK and that will be basically uh, right here, as you can see, um, you know, highlighted. As you can see here, uh, it's a little bit messy, but on the right side, you can see the final product 
of your documentation that you're creating. So uh, obviously you can add uh, in, you know, you can maybe select and highlight warning, for example, right? And your warning can go here, uh, for example, your title, welcome, right? It could be here. So you can add a lot of different things. You can insert files, insert images, insert tables, as well as uh, insert latex, in, find and replace something. Um, you know, you can insert code block as well. So this is a code block, code block. As you can see, this is a code block. So you can also do that as well. And once you are done with everything, you can actually go uh, here and you can see that this is a draft. We can actually publish this draft or we can go to more here. If we go exit here, we can view a preview. So let's view a preview here so that we can see what we made. Now, as you can see, this is how technical documentation looks like uh, in document 360. Uh, and this is basically the document that we created here. We can also go and we can publish it as well. So let's just publish it here. We can enter the, the comment if we want, but we, let's click just yes here. And this will completely publish our uh, document. So our, our documentation, we can go here and we can now view in our knowledge base. And this is how it looks like in our knowledge base. We can click on this link. We have the code block, we have the logo, we have everything right here. So this is basically how you can create technical documentation with Document 360. Now, obviously, you also have other options and features as well that you can access here. For example, on the left side, you can see you have Drive. And uh, here on your Drive, you can actually go and click on your Drive right here. Uh, and if you click on the Drive, we can see that this is basically every single of our uh, documentations that we save are here. So we can go here and add an article and it will save in the Drive. Since we added an article in getting started, as you can see, it added the article in getting started. So we also have here documentation on the left side. This is where we are at right now. We also have drive. Um, this is all the drive, all the images, PDFs, everything that we basically uploaded to document 360. We also have analytics right here, uh, which we can see, you know, track the performance of our technical documentation. Uh, which is really, really useful if you want to go and track the technical uh, documentation, who is visiting, total likes, total dislikes, total views, total reads as well, uh, average time spent on uh, a documentation, which is really useful. You have search, you can search and, you know, filter by a lot of different things. You know, maybe you want to uh, take a look at last 90 days or last 180 days. You can do that right here, application, knowledge base, knowledge base widget. You can also uh, play around with that feedback. You have feedback as well. Uh, we currently do not have any feedback. And then we also have geography as well, where we can see popular countries visiting our technical documentation. Now we also have content tools right here. Um, these are basically just the tools that you can use to create content, bulk operations, tags, workflow designer, SEO description. Uh, if you want to maybe rank on Google with your documentations, you can click on SEO description and here uh, you can pretty much select the languages and stuff like that. And also what's really cool is that you can uh, you can basically translate uh, technical documentation with Document 360 with multiple different languages. So um, obviously right here we can see that we have also article review reminders, stuff like that. Obviously we can go to settings as well any time of the day and we can basically go here and uh, we have a lot of different things here, documentation as well, you know, markdown editor, WYSIWYG editor, if you want maybe an HTML editor, we can use that as well. And uh, you know, when you go into the documentation as well, you can change the editors as well. So let's say if we go here to this docu document, we can actually change the editor by going to article settings and we can go to the editor and change it to WYSIWYG, right? So if you click here, yes, this will completely change our editor to WYSIWYG. And then we can obviously hit save if we want to save it. So in a nutshell, this is basically how you can go and create technical documentation with Document 360. There's a lot more that Document 360 offers. Uh, so if you want to check it out, it's the first link in the description. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next upcoming videos.